Hey guys, Arby here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 4 Lesson 1 homework. So let's get started. Number 1. Use the following directions to draw a figure in the box to the right. So A, it says draw two points W and X. So one point is just a dot. So W and X, we can draw these two points anywhere, but it just has to be on or in the box. So let's see, W, let's draw it here, why not? So it goes W and X, let's draw it right here. Draw this anywhere you'd like, as long as it's in the box. Now B says use a straight edge to draw W, X. So this would be a ray. Um, and I don't, I don't know what straight edge is. I think that's like a tool maybe, but I don't have one. So I'm just gonna draw like, just eye it. So if you look closely at W X, you see this line sort of thing above. If you look really closely, you see an arrow kind of pointing to the right. So to X, it's like pointing that way. It's going that way to the right on to X because it's on the side of X. So that means that for this, so we connect it with the line, but then we keep on going. So we draw an arrow to show that it will keep on going forever. And we're not drawing it on W, we're drawing on X because that arrow thing is on X's side. So that's why. Now C says draw a new point that is not on right W, X, label it Y. So let's draw it over here. Y. So now it says draw line segment WY. This is a line segment because there's no arrows at the end, which means it's just a straight line. So WY. That's just our line segment. And E says draw a point not on WX or Y. Oh wait. Hold up, hold up. Guys, my bad. <laughs> Wait. Draw a new point, label Y, it's YW. I don't know why I was saying. It's hey guys, Y, Y, W. Okay, that's why it's always important to check your work. Okay, draw a point that's not on W, X, or W, Y. Call it Z. Um, let's see, we can put it right over here. Z. And now it says, Construct YZ. If you look above, this is a line because it's going, there's arrow on both sides. That means that's gonna go on forever. So YZ, draw arrows on both sides. Now G says, use the points you already labeled to name one angle. So an angle is like kind of like a triangle, part of a triangle, looks like part of a triangle, like that. So this is an angle, and this say is angle x w y. Because it's part of those points. Those points are those points and the lines and stuff. They're constructing the angle. All right, now number two. Use the following directions to draw a figure in the box to the right. All right, a draw two points w and x. All right. So pretty much the same. We have W and we have X. Draw a straight edge to use a straight edge to draw WX. So notice how there's no arrows or anything. So this is just a straight line segment. C says draw a new point that is not on WX. Label it Y. I think I'll do it right here. Y. Draw WY, there's no arrows, so this is also just a normal line segment. Now it says draw a new point that is not on WY or on the line containing WX, labeled Z. I think I'll do it over here. Construct WZ, and there's, in there's arrows on both sides, that means this is a line. So keep on going forever. You need to draw arrows on both sides. Now G says identify Z, W, X by drawing an arc to indicate the position of the angle. So Z, W, X, 
z w x so this is our angle that means we draw a little arc or an arch a little arch see what it say or arc here this is our angle shade and identify another angle by referencing points that you already drawn angle this is another angle or you can do this part but this one is angle z w y so z w y because it includes those points okay next page number three a observe the familiar figures below label some points on each figure b says use those points to label and name representations of each of the following in the table below. Ray, line, line segment, and angle. Extend segments to show lines and rays. All right, so let's start with the clock. You can look at these four corners. Remember, I can see some points here. A, B, D, C, and D. So let's see, we want to draw, let's start with the clock here. We have a ray. A ray is an arrow going one way. So we can do ray A, B, connect them. You can draw the arrow going towards B. So that is a ray. So we can do A, B, and above, we draw a line and the arrow pointing to the right because our arrow is going to the right. And now we, for a line, do line A to D maybe. So you connect it. We have to show arrows going both ways. That means it's going to go on forever. So A, D, and we draw a line above with arrows going both ways. That represents a line. All right, now a line segment. You can do C and B. You just basically connect it and that's it. So you can do B, C, and you just draw a line. Now, an angle, we can do B, A, D, maybe. Or we can do any, honestly. But we can draw an arc, and we can do angle B, A, D. Angle that. All right, now for our die. So you can do point. We already use A, B, C, D. So you can A, B, C, D, E, Q. F, G, H, why not? All right, so our ray, we can do, so you do H to G, and it's going that way. So H, G, and we draw our line above and the arrow pointing to the right, because it's going towards G. And now our line, we can do, See F and H, just connect it and draw arrows going both ways. That's F, H, with arrows going both ways. Line segment, that's just basically connecting it. So we have E and G here. We can just draw a line above. And our angle, I think we could do angle E, G, H. Because it's an angle right here using those three points. All right, and now our number line. Okay, this part, let's see. We can use A, A, B, C, and we have A. So we can do B. Up here, it's not really a small, it's not really a big distance or a gap, but we can still do C and D. So our array, let's see our array. Can do like C to D honestly, and it's going towards D. And our line, let's do C to A. Just draw arrows going both sides. C to A with arrows going both sides. And line segment, just basically don't connect it. We can do D to B. To be, and we just draw a straight line above. Now, an angle we can do angle DCA. C, 
because there's an angle right here that's being connected with those three points. All right, now over here it says extension. Draw a familiar figure, label it with points, and then identify rays, lines, line segments, and angle as applicable. So familiar figure, see something with straight edges we can draw. So I think, why not let's draw a computer? Oh, just kind of draw it like that. It doesn't have to be too complicated. Yeah, we have the keyboard, the screen keyboard, and that thing supporting it. Let's see, so we can do points A, B, C, D. And yeah, let's see, a ray, we can do D to A. And um, a line, we can do, see, why not, let's do A to B. Line A, B. Line segment, we can do C to B. Just connect it. And an angle, we can do angle D, A, B. Angle D, A, B. Okay. And that's pretty much it. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.